All right, go out the way we came in and get on the main highway going west. Don't go back through the city. right up here. So how's it feel to be back? Good. I feel a lot better with some money in my pocket. Hey, what's the rush? Money don't buy you happiness, you know. Get the fuck out of here. I was just fucking with you. Don't worry about the money. This little job is just the beginning. Pretty soon you'll be rolling in it. So, Sand Island's still the same shithole it was when I left? No, no, the place actually ain't too bad now. Oh, shit. How the hell that happened? All the moolies flew south for the winter. Of course it's still a shithole, Vito. You've only been gone a couple of years. Gonna take a lot longer than that for that neighborhood to turn around. Them people multiply like rabbits. What are you gonna do? It's even worse than when we was kids. They even got some kind of gang there now. What's their fucking name? Uh, the Beamers, the Boomers, something like that. I don't fucking know. No, oh, that's just fucking great. Hey, what are you worried about? They're animals. All they do is sell dope and kill each other. They ain't gonna bother a guy like you. And even if they do, that's why I gave you that pistol. Oh, by the way, you're carrying a gun now? What's the deal with that? Can't do business without it these days. Especially in this fucking neighborhood. You, uh, really know how to inspire confidence, you know that? Take a left up here. Wow, I forgot how nice this neighborhood was. You know something? One of these days, I'm gonna buy a house here. Look at this guy. Ain't even back a day and he's still good for his old neighborhood. Hey, what are you breaking my balls for? I'm just window shopping. It'll be years before I could afford a place like this. <laughs> You got champagne tastes and beer pockets, my friend. Don't worry, though. I'm gonna help you change that. It's that cream-colored baby over there. Be careful. Do it quick and get the fuck out of there. Break a window if you have to and go. I'll wait for you back at Mike's. Hey, what if I run into problems? Then you deal with them. Look, consider this a test. If you fail, I hear they're hiring down at the factory. Right, just asking. Good luck, pal. I see you back at Mike's. Good afternoon. Hey, what the fuck are you doing over there? Ah, oh, ah. shit. Hey! 
Hey, what you doing, motherfucker? Ah, oh, damn it. Mission accomplished. How'd it go? Yeah, piece of cake. Except for the fact that the car belonged to a bunch of moolies who immediately tried to kill me right after you left. Ah, uh, probably the bombers. Hunters their neighborhood. Guys like that, you don't have to worry about them. They just hang out on the street, talk shit, steal shit, and smoke dope. <sighs> Let's see what we got here. Mmm, nice. No stains. Clean. Where the lowlife get the money for this. Probably stole it himself. It's nice, though. How much did I say I'd give you for it again? Six hundred. 
<laughs> oh, I like you, buddy, Joe. Here's your 400 bucks. Stop by again, okay? We can do some more business. Yeah, you bet, Mike. I see you, Mike. I'll stop by again real soon. All Me right, too. boys. I'll see you later. Here's your 300 bananas. I'm taking my cut as the middleman. Next time, you're on your own. All right. Thanks, Joe. All right, let's go home. I'm exhausted. should take the highway, Vito. All right, you pulled off that job without fucking it up. Nice going. Yeah, but I almost got my ass kicked. I didn't live through the war just to die in Sand Island. Hey, that's all part of the deal, pal. Take it or leave it. Besides, it ain't like you're qualified for anything else. Eh, I guess you're right. Don't worry about it. It's all gonna be a piece of cake. So, uh, what's the story with Bruski? Mike's a good guy to know. He's a little grouchy, but he's always got a scam going. He deals with stolen cars mostly. Spent some time inside a while back. I heard he used to stick up gas stations back in the day. You gonna make him pay the cleaning bill for your jacket? Nah, I'll let that one slide. I do a lot of business with the guy. Plus, he's got one hell of a temper. One time we was at the track and some mix spilled a beer on his wind ticket. Mike beat the shit out of him till he went blind in one eye. For a lousy ten bucks, who believe that shit? Sounds like kind of a scumbag. Hey, you just got an out of hand for these people. And Mike's a pussycat compared to some of the guys I've met since you shipped out. You'll see. Hey, is there a safe place to park around here? I don't want to leave this thing out in the street. If you're hungry, there's some food in the refrigerator. You're hungry, Vito? Take whatever you want from the fridge. Joe's pleasure, pal. It's Vito speaking. Vito, why didn't you come home last night? I was worried sick. Mama? I didn't know you had Joe's number. And whose phone is this? So have you spoken to Mr. Papalardo? Find yourself a job? Yeah, he told me to come by and see him today. Hopefully he's got some work for me. 
Okay, Vito. Good luck, mio bambino. All right, bye, mama. Oh, uh, hi there. What's the matter? Nothing good on the radio? Mind your beeswax, kid. If you don't turn that crap down, I'm gonna call the cops! What's going on? How can I help you? Bring it by anytime. <laughs> 